Hey you guys, this is Mike. And this is Nita. Back. It's been a while. I know it's probably been like, it's been a week exactly. So, apologize for not uploading this week. Just really, really busy um, with school and all kind of stuff. But we're going to try to get more consistent in this week. Have some steady videos for you guys. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to cook anything. But if I don't cook something tomorrow, we'll put a vlog up or something. Right. Um... So yeah, we did want to come back and give you guys a fertility update. I know you guys have been on pins and needles trying to figure out what's going on with them. All that kind of good stuff. So did want to go ahead and get you guys filled in. Um, so upon retrieval at the end of our last fertility update, I told you guys in the description box, which I didn't put that in the video, I said that we had 12 follicles that were actually uh, retrieved. Yeah. Um, and from those 12 follicles nine were mature um so out of the 12 nine actually were in the nine nine eggs were mature yeah. mature and then once they fertilized all of them um once they attempted excuse me attempted to fertilize all of them six made it um three were fertilized so six were uh, fertilized successfully and then i believe a day a day two mm -hmm. or two days or so mm -hmm. Two days, two days or so, um, three showed signs of being uh, fragmented. Fragmented. So I guess it's heavily not... fragmented. So that wasn't very good. And three were still progressing um, normally. And then, of course, when I got the phone call on the fifth day, we found out that um, out of those three, only one was actually frozen. And the grade that they gave it was an A B. Um, they didn't tell me what the grades were for the other ones, but they adhere, they only freeze them if they are, um, B's or above. And it has a lot to do with their statistics. And also it had a lot to do with the fact that, um, I wasn't doing a fresh transfer. I was only doing a frozen transfer. So they had to be a good, the quality, um, for them to freeze. So. So yeah, we were um, kind of shocked that we only had one. I uh, thought I was hoping for at least two. Yeah. Um, but you know, it 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 only takes one. Um, yeah, it only takes one. But um, and I know I did um try to do a video before, and we might um put some of that video up. But um, I'm I'm gonna say I'm grateful. Because there's a lot of people who go through this process, especially with where I am with my um, low ovarian reserve, who really ends up with no eggs or um, it's just not responsive to drugs. So the miracle in it, and even the doctor was really surprised that I even had 12 follicles to begin with. And then out of those, the nine was mature. And then, so, I mean, we were... We're both disappointed only one made it, but um, the fact that I was able to produce 12 to have the outcome of having one um, is a blessing. But I'm not going to, you know, pretend like I'm not disappointed. I am disappointed. Um, for some of you guys who have been watching, you guys know that I really wanted to. Um, even though I understand the risk of multiple um, births, I still want to try for twins. Um, but... One is good. Um, God's plan is always the best plan. So I'm still very hopeful and optimistic about the one. Yeah, and then her doctor already told her that out of 12, statistically, typically only people only work away with two anyway. So we were one less than what the normal range of people get at right. 12 follicles. So I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm disappointed, but I'm really grateful. Um, just to have that one because we were reading stories on different forms and it's some people who got 18 eggs retrieved and all of them were fragmented and they walked away with absolutely nothing right. i believe third i think she retrieved this this lady um they retrieved 32 eggs they fertilized 18 were fertilized and then all of them were fragmented so that's just horrible right. and that's a lady who was younger than juanita who didn't have a low it just based on her you know how much they but, retrieved yeah. 32 i'm pretty sure she didn't have a issue producing eggs but right. and so and that's the thing and then we have to trust in mother nature you know um 
So a lot of times if they're fragmented or something's going on with them, if they don't make it, it's because Mother Nature just says that, hey, this is not going to be a viable pregnancy. And so it just does not continue. So I also have to trust in Mother Nature that um, she knows what she's doing, which is when I say Mother Nature, I mean God, that he knows what he's doing. And, um, huh? Stop being funny. Oh. <laughs> I was basically making a joke about Octavia Spirits of Praying God in the shape. But anyway. Oh, okay. But, so, but yeah. But, um, so yeah, I mean, I say Mother Nature. I use, you know, those kind of terms. But I really mean God. You know, I know that he has a plan. And, um, something that I, that I've said before is, you know, his plan is the best plan even when it hurts. And I was a little disappointed. I was a little hurt. But I also had to put in perspective that, um, it was a blessing for it to turn out the way that it turned out. So. Exactly. And you know, you guys don't know our full story. We've come a long way um, through this fertility journey. It has been an uphill battle every step of the way. Um, just several things to say the least. Um, you know, I know you guys probably have watched our previous video about the tubal pregnancy. We've actually that, had two. That I've talked about. Yeah. And then we actually had one prior had, to that. Yeah. We've had two. I've had to have a couple of surgeries to my cervix. Um, we were trying to wait, but I was even told that we got to have a child sooner than later because they really want to take it all out because of some abnormal cells that, that I've had and that they're scared it's going to come back. Um, so, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's just different things. So we are... To say all they were optimistic, um, you know, there's a verse in the Bible, and I, which I, I, I'll put it down here. I, I'll put it. For all things work together for the good for them who love the Lord. And I think that's Romans 11, if I'm not mistaken, but I will put it down here. But, and, and, and that is so true. Really, things, all things do work together. The thing about it is, is that his ways are so much higher than our ways, is that we don't understand how they, how they formulate to get here. They, we don't understand how those puzzle pieces fit together to get you the actual masterpiece that you see. So, you know, like I said, several, like she said, several surgeries on her cervix, two tubal pregnancies, um, abnormal cells. Both tubes taken um, out. Both tubes taken out and somebody telling us that IVF was our only option and looking at our pocketbook and saying, you know what, God, we don't even have the money. And he made provision for us to get this money. He made Cash. provision for us to, you know, have um, some sponsors to help us with the medication, which that was a blessing. Yeah. Um, it's been amazing. But you know what? Time and time again, we, we have seen God show up and show out. Um, me and Juanita's story about how we met, that's going to have to be a story time. But I'm going to leave you guys with this today. We were engaged on April the 8th, 2012. And on October the 1st, 2012, we decided to set a date for our wedding in November the 10th, which ha just happened to be my uh, my mother's, uh, mother's birthday, which I didn't know Love at the time. time. And we said, God, we don't know how you're going to do it. We don't have any money. We don't have any any means. We don't, we don't have anything. But God literally worked out a whole wedding in a month. And everyone said, oh, my God, it's going to be cold. We end up having our wedding outside. We end up having it at a park. Um, mm -hmm. And everybody was like, oh, my God, it's going to be cold. It was 74 degrees on November the 10th, 2012, because everything works together for, for the good. So when things don't go well in my life, I continue to look over my past and seeing how God again. So, you know, when you're discouraged, when you don't feel like you can make it, you can you really, really can. You know, I'm an inspiration to myself. You know, everybody, he said, oh my gosh, you guys, you and Juanita, you know, you guys are making it, you guys are, are doing it. But people don't know the, the behind the scenes stuff, you know, because we almost didn't make it. Like I said, we said in the previous video, last year was a very hard year for us, but we can, that's the story. That's our fertility update. We were a little shocked and a little dismayed by, we thought we were going to be doing our transfer in March. And then they told Juanita what again? What did they tell you? So we thought we were going to be doing my transfer in March. And the thing about it is it's cycle based. And so um, my cycle came a little bit later. But then what we didn't know is that I was going to have to do two weeks of um, pills, two weeks of birth control. 
and then after the tubes of birth control I have to wait for my cycle to start again and then at that point um, I come in for my um, um, is it borderline? for my baseline I want to say borderline for my baseline sano and then the, I get a date from there so I saw I take my last pill on March 14th so that's already the middle of the week I mean the middle of the month and then I have to wait for my bleed to start which typically is three or four days later and then I get a date so it looks like it probably won't be until the beginning of April yeah then they shocked us we was like what you know everybody kept saying oh we're doing a March transfer well clearly we're not doing a March transfer yeah. I don't know where y'all get y'all dates from. Right. But. This is yeah. This is what the doctor office is telling us. And then <laughs> um, I'm like, okay. Well, my cycle started. Oh, we'll take two weeks to birth control pill. And it's like, wait a minute. That's gonna put me off. So, but um, she, I, I trust her. Um, she said that she was gonna do everything she could to give me the best possible chance. And she's doing procedures and steps that she's done for others that were in my same boat. Who was successful on the first round on That's the first round saying. so we were so you know we're not praying we we already know it's going to happen the first time around that's just what his will is. I, I believe in 2017 for us. Yeah. And I told Juanita because Juanita was like, I don't understand why they got me doing this. I said, you listen to them people <laughs> and stop telling telling people to do their job. Listen to them people. Them people got a whole degree. I said, well, because, I mean, I'm just anxious, and I'm just ready to get over with, and then, plus, you know, I have, um, you know, in my job, and I was trying to give a heads up when I said March, and then now it's not going to be March, and you guys, you know, you don't, you know, you don't want your manager to be looking at you like, well, I thought you said this, you know, but I did try to explain to him that it's a heads up. I think it's in March, but it's, but I also said that we don't know because you can't predict your cycle. So case in point, you can't predict your cycle. So um, I really do think that when they were saying March, it was because of how my cycle was, but it just it my cycles just didn't work out that way. Didn't work out that way. So I figured they just recalculated it, and yeah, it's probably exactly. No. So yeah, but I do want to say that um, thank you guys for sticking with us. Um, I do understand that we, you know, should be more consistent. We're depending on you guys to support us and we need to do our part, be more consistent. And we are um, brainstorming and come up with ideas to do that. I know that for me, you know, me and Michael, we both work, we both go to school and he gets really busy just like I get busy. But I need to be able to help him by learning how to edit videos and stuff because it really just, it, it all waits on him. So I need to try to help um, pick some of that up and then that will also help us be a little more um, consistent. But um, yeah, we're going to have to try to have a better week this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I know a lot of people were wondering, you know, what were the results? When is it going to be transferred? I put yeah. my job asking me. What's so going on? Everybody's very yeah. engaged, and we really do appreciate all the support. It's been great, and we appreciate all of each and every one of you. You guys don't understand. We reached 40 subscribers, which is really big for us because I didn't think nobody would even care. Don't care, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anybody would even care. So to reach 40 subscribers was amazing. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's it's, good. It's I nice. mean, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, it's amazing. But, and, you know, any supporters. Um, I know for me, I had to actually, I had to... Um, Kind of chew up what I was given and, 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 and get settled in that. You know, if not, I'd probably be on the video crying and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, because, I, I mean, I, I did need, to, it, it need to sit a little bit for me. You know, that's why I didn't really do um, too many car videos. But, um, but yeah, but I, I've come to terms with it and I'm happy about it. Yep. Thank you guys Good. for being patient. With Thank us. you guys for being patient, and we appreciate you guys. I know a lot of people say they enjoy the whisper challenge, so we're thinking, thinking of something fun, something the next challenge we're gonna do. We may do a smasher pass, but we won't do the smasher pass. But we may kiss or dish. kiss or dish challenge or something because I see a lot of people doing it. It looks fun. It yeah. looks fun. So we may do a little clean Christian version because we're not smashing or passing nobody over here. Right. So we are. We really ain't kissing or dissing anybody either, but, you know, it's for the sake of entertainment. Whatever. Right. 
So we may do that. I think that's going to be fun. We may get that up hopefully this week sometime. But um, you we guys. Ideas. Yeah, we got some good ideas. Just remember, you have yourself a good week. This week could be the best week. You got to make it be your best week. Because it's about you. And just remember, I told myself this. 2017 needs to be about you. Put you first. Trying to be a little selfish. Do what you need to do to make your dreams come true. Because I know everybody else is going to do it. But are you going to be your best for yourself? So, have a good week. You guys be blessed.